Hey guys, okay, it is a bold lips for old chicks day and I've got two today because I ordered this one online. This is a Sephora, I think it's a liquid lipstick, like kind of cheap packaging, honestly. Um, it, this doesn't have much, oh, here we go. Uh, cream lip stain is what it is. Okay, it is in the shade, oh, it's so hard to see because it's so dark. I think it's black cherry or something to that effect. Can't see it. I'll put it in the description. Anyway, online, it did not look like black cherry. Like it looked like a deep red, but not that deep. Like that's crazy deep. So I also have this one that I've been wanting to try. And this is the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in the shade Behind the Bleachers, okay? So this is almost like a cranberry red shade. So we'll see how it works. Let's get to it. My kids are going to be home in just a few minutes, so we're going to do this quick. All right. And I hope you enjoy the ambiance of the uh, stockings, Christmas decor, and the Christmas music in the background. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, perfect. Like a cranberry red. My cats are crazed. All right, and as you guys know, I are you already know that I like the Mega Last liquid cat suits. Um, they stay on, they're not streaky, they have full color, um, they don't they, they don't move, they don't budge, they're really good. And this shade is really nice. Like on camera it's looking like a brick red, but in real life it's a bit more cranberry than that. So more on the berry side of things. A little bit deeper. I don't know, I guess we might be able to go brick red on this one. But it's not as orange as it's looking on in as it is looking on camera to me. Now I'm gonna change the settings on my phone, not to make things look fake, but to make them actually look more real. Uh, right now my setting will blow out all my features, it'll be very bright and it kind of changes the color. So um, when I turn down some of the brightness, it's gonna make me look more true to life. Um, and that will kind of get a, a better representation of the color of the lipstick. Doesn't always work to a T. I have some other uh, Bold Lips for Old Chicks videos where, um, the color just can't, it, the camera can't do justice to the actual color. And it can't be exact, okay? But this is pretty close. So if you want a red lip, but you kind of want to have a subtle red lip, this is actually good. I know you're thinking, that's crazy. That that lip is like crazy bold. It is bold, but it's a, actually a much more wearable shade than maybe a bright orange or a bright red, like a really bright one. So that's that. Okay, so I've been talking for about three minutes. Let's go ahead and take this off. We have we get the idea. It's very nice. It's really nice. And I, I, I already like the liquid cat suits. So we know we like this one. Let's get this off and we'll try the next one. I'll be right back. All right, so we are clean lipped. I put a little tiny bit of gloss on because I just rubbed my lip raw <laughs> trying to get that thing off, okay? So I do have a little bit of gloss on just so that also my lips don't look that crusty either, which is never cool. All right. So here we are with the shade. I'm going to do a shade swatch. Like it did not look like black cherry when I, oh my goodness, look how purpley. Like, oh, you can't see it on camera. Like in real life, it's got, it looks brown. Like when you just look at it, but when you look up close, it's almost got this velvety purple look. Okay, so let's just do a swatch. Oh my goodness, it's like black. It looked more red online. They're such liars. Okay, we're trying it anyway. It's almost like a brownie purple is what it really is. Like it's, it's got pur a purple undertone in there. Oh, I'm so afraid to put it on now. Well, we're just doing it. I mean, you only live once. Wear the, wear the black cherry. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, 
Okay, yes, this is indeed a black cherry. Now, if I don't know if you can see, but every time I put my lips together, it's creating this streak. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to use a product like this. Um, obviously, I feel like this is better suited to a deeper skin tone. And I say obviously because that's obvious to me. <laughs> um, I feel like if I were to try to put this off, pull this off, I would look just dead. Um, I'm just going to tap it because it does say it's a gel stain. So let's just see if we can just make this look a little bit better. If I was trying to, if I really wanted to wear a color like this, it's just, it's too dark, it's too streaky. Um, if I really wanted to wear a color like this, I probably would um, blot it. And even that's not looking good at all. Um, that would be my first instinct. Blot off the excess. And then leave that stain. But it's what's weird is that it feels like it's trying to set down, but it's still transferring, okay? Um, so I think uh, for a product like this, um, I just really am not sure how it would work out because even putting it on, it was kind of splotchy looking. So what I might do just as a test, so just so we can try it since we're trying stuff today, um, I'm going to get a tiny bit more and maybe try and fill in some of the gaps. We'll see what happens. It's starting to flake off a little bit. Yeah, this is not really on my lips anyway. It's not... It's just streaky. It's just not making a smooth look. Now, maybe that's my fault and I have to really exfoliate my lips, get them like super duper duper prepared for a shade like this. But it's just, I don't know. I, I feel like it, this is just not a shade for me that's gonna work out for me, even this deep. Like, I don't know. I mean, again, it, this is gonna require so much maintenance, so much like, trying to get it to work um and in my everyday life I just don't see where that's going to be something that I'm going to do really the shade is really pretty though and if you're looking for this sort of deep black cherry like it it, it is it is what it says it is it I would call this that's the exact definition black cherry is exactly right um if you really finessed it, you might be able to get a good look out of this. You might have to put on a little bit more blush. You might want to do like a winged liner or something like that. But um, it's, I don't think this is a bad product necessarily. Like I don't think like out of hand, bad product. Um, I just think it's going to take a little bit uh, of work to get it to look nice for, especially for a shade like this. But I don't think it's, you. that's unique to Sephora. I feel like any shade that's going to be like this kind of a shade it's not bad, honestly. It's, it's actually a really pretty shade. Uh, I think any shade that's this deep on such a fair skin as mine um, is going to take a little bit of work to get it to look just right. Um, but let me know how you guys like these videos, and I'll just give you a, a swatch of the other ones so you can kind of see the intensity difference. I mean, we're talking about almost like a black red. Um, really nice though. I mean, if you're looking for a shade like this, uh, I can't remember how much they were. I will put that in the description. This might be your girl if you're willing to put in the work. And also if you wanted to have like this as a base, because it is a stain or it claims to be a stain, um, you might be able to have this as a base, put a different color over top. And then, um, you know, throughout the evening, you won't be left with like, uh, a lip, a lip liner, you know, with bare lips on the inside. And I know, I, I know, I know how it looks right now. We're just gonna, we're just gonna let that go. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.